Whitewater kids, it is so good to be with you today. And today is an exciting day. We're starting a new series on the fruit of the Spirit. And this is the book that we're going to be going through together called Growing God's Gift. Do you guys know what the first fruit of the Spirit is that we're going to talk about? We are going to talk about love today. So let's see. This is Frank. I'm here to help you with this present. This is really special. It's a present to you from God. The Bible tells us that God gives us the fruit of the Spirit. We can't really see it. It's a word picture that shows us how God asks His family to behave. This fruit is like fruit on a tree. When we care for it, our fruit will grow strong and healthy. The words in the Bible are God's words. In the book of Galatians, he says, The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. The first part is love. It's not squishy or just about heart shapes. It's not only in fairy tales. Love holds everything together. Love is strong and love is powerful. Love is amazing. With love, you can do wonderful things. Because of love, I am here, says Frank. Because of love, someone gave you this book. Because you are loved by God, He gives you more than you could ask or imagine, and His love will never, ever run out. No matter how big or small you are, God loves you. You can't do anything that will make him love you any more or any less. What does love look like? Love does not fight to be first. Love will think of others first. Love is kind. Love does the nicest things like cuddling and sharing. And love stands up for the truth. Love forgives. When I love, I try to be in charge of my anger. I'm careful with my words and my actions. See all the wonderful things you can do with love? Did you know that God sees all the things we do, good and naughty? The naughty things get in the way of knowing God, like a big curtain we can't see past. God's son, Jesus, came from heaven and did all that was needed to clear them away. He opened the big curtain so we can talk to God. God did a really amazing thing with his love. Now we can start to see all the amazing love God has for us. We become part of his family. We can talk to him and spend time getting to know him. God's love is amazing. Because we are loved, we can love too. That love will shine out of you like a bright invisible light. Everyone will feel it. Thank you guys for reading that story with me this morning. Before we sing our song together, I wanted you guys to meet a friend of mine. This is Brooks. Good morning, Brooks. Good morning, Miss Hannah. Hi, boys and girls. Miss Hannah, I like your Bible lesson today about fruits. My favorite fruit is bananas. But you weren't talking about that kind of fruit, right? No, I wasn't talking about bananas. I was talking about the fruits of the Spirit. Brooks, do you remember the first fruit of the Spirit that I talked about? Well, I don't think it was bananas, but it was uh, uh, love. It was love. That's right. The first fruit was love. Love, love, love. I'm not going to forget that fruit. Love. Not bananas, though. No, not the fruit of bananas, the fruit of love. Love is strong and powerful. Well, I like to be strong and powerful. When I'm strong, I can ride my bike up big, big hills. And we have big hills on our street. Oh, that's awesome. Brooks, the kind of love God is talking about is a love like your mom or dad or stepmom or foster parent gives. They hug you and they care for you. Oh, wow. My mom gives me a lot of powerful loves. She she even loves me when I do something bad or, or wrong. 
Yes, that's what the fruit of the Spirit love is all about. And God wants you and everyone to give that kind of love to others. I think I can do that. I can love other kids and people too. Like in our book today, it said love doesn't fight to be first in line. What? But what if I can run faster than everyone because I want to be first? Well, Brooks, that is thinking of yourself and not thinking of others and being kind. Well, well, I, I could run fast and then I could say, you be first in line and I'll be second. Yes, that's a great idea, Brooks. Letting someone go ahead of you in line would be thinking about others and showing love. But what am I going to do when I get upset at my sister and I really feel mad? Well, we are going to get angry sometimes, but we can still show love and forgiveness. What? But, but what if I'm too upset to show love? When we are mad, we need to remember how Jesus loves us. No matter what, and we need to try to remember that always. Wow, that love fruit is really important fruit. Yes, love is big and powerful. I think that the love fruit that Jesus gives us is very special. Yep, I'm going to start thinking about showing love. It's really important. Yes, it's really important, Brooks. And to help us remember that, I wanted to share this with you and with all the kids of a way that we can remember our first fruit, which was love, right? Yes. I drew a picture of a banana and I'm gonna wow. hang it up here for everybody to see. Wow, that's really cool. I think I can really remember love now. That's great. Yeah, and if you wanna draw your own picture and hang it up somewhere in your house so you can remember all the fruits, that would be great. I'm going to go home and make a fruit right away. It's going to be a banana, and it's going to have love on it. I wonder what kind of fruit all the boys and girls are going to make today. Wow, this is fun. Yeah, so fun. Well, Brooks, it was so good to see you today. And thanks, all of you Whitewater kids, for being with us. We are going to sing a song together next, so please stick around.
job singing, you guys. I love hearing your voices. I will see you next time. Parents, if your children have expressed that they would like to ask Jesus into their hearts, here's a prayer that you can pray with your children today. Jesus, I believe in you, and I believe that God sent you so I can join his family. I trust you to help me follow God's plan for my life. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for giving me a home in heaven. Thank you, Jesus, for dying on the cross for me. As best I know how, I ask you to come into my life. Amen. And if you guys did do that with your children, we would love to hear. So if you want to just um, fill out a Connect card or send us a message so that we can celebrate that moment with you, that would be awesome. We love you guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye.